those of you that watched my last video will remember that I was snagged in a tree with my wild bait minnow so I gave it a real fast yank back the lure came flying out of the tree straight across the creek into a rock snapped the bib off the minnow here it is here probably the only bibless wild bait minnow in the country now somebody said to me in a comment I reckon you could still catch fish on that and I thought what a challenge challenge accepted I'm going to get my pliers and break off this last little pointy part of this bib that I'm going to go and see if I can catch a trout on a bibless wild bait minnow I reckon that's about as good as I'm going to get it. I tell you what, it's bloody tough. That lure has not got a scratch on it, despite hitting heaps of rocks and bumps and logs and whatnot. It's taken a battering over the last couple of years that I've had it. Let's see if I can catch a trout on the bibless wild bait minnow. <laughs> Ooh, something's hitting it. Got him! Yes! <laughs> oh, I lost him! He wasn't very big, he was a little rainbow. Jeez, I earn my fish. <laughs> I really do work hard for my fish, don't I? Have a look at this. What a jungle for an old boy like me it is, anyway. How the hell am I supposed to get past that? Without cutting myself to shreds. <laughs> I'm gonna just gently and delicately jump into the creek off a tree. <laughs> oh, little one, come! Oh, he hit it again and again. He hit it three times. Here he comes again. Look, and again. He hit it four times, but not hard enough. Got to be a tree out holding up in there somewhere. Here comes one. Oh, got him. Yes, on the Biblos minnow. Oh, he got off. Look, he got off. I wasn't trying overly hard to land him. I uh, was just lifting him out of the water. Had I used a landing net, I might have landed him, but it was a, a, a little rainbow. There's another little one following it now, actually. Might have been the same one. It was a little rainbow, probably 25 or 27 centimetres long, I guess. And he, he hit the back hooks on the Biblos minnow. I'm going to have to give this little Biblos minnow a name because he's a bit special, he's different than the rest. How about Habib? Because he hasn't got a bib. Got him. Yes, on Habib. He's, he's taking Habib, he's, he's wrapped around everything. He's a good hookup. Ah, look at this. Lovely brownie. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted and challenge completed. Come here, buddy. Yes. Look at the condition and the colours on that beautiful, beautiful trout. Definitely worthy of a photo. Absolutely glorious fish. There you go, buddy. There you go. Off he goes. He took a liking to Habib. He took a swipe at Habib's bum and he found himself a, with a set of trebles hanging out his mouth. <laughs> the challenge was to see if I could catch a trout on a wild bait minnow with a broken bib. I love these lures. Look at the great colours on that minnow. Ideal. I've had a lot of hits and a lot of taps and a lot of follows. And that doesn't mean much because this is the same creek that I was fishing two days ago, three days ago, 
when the minnow had a bib on it. I'm about two or three kilometers upstream this time, that's all. So because they're not hooking up doesn't mean it's because the minnow hasn't got a bib. It could just very well be the way they are at the moment. Got him another one! Yes! Oh, I lost him! Oh, I lost him! I think he might have been another brownie actually. Little trout just fly that out and... Here he comes. He's following out. Got him! Oh, I paused it and twitched it and he hit it. Nice little rainbow. Oh. Broken minnow. Still catch fish. Come on buddy. Maybe be careful. He's... He's as mad as I... He's actually hooked in the side. He's not hooked in the mouth. He must have swiped at it and... Got hooked up or something, the poor bugger. There you go, mate. He's off. He's free. He's happy. He's probably just got a sore side. Got to follow. Got him. <laughs> little one. Another little rainbow. Oh, there he goes. He's as good as caught. We'll count that one. If Wayne Gardner was here, he would have said, I didn't see it. <laughs> wow, I've caught three and lost several others on the bibless wild bait minnow. Tell you what, I wish Teddy could have made it. He would have been so impressed. He would have been having a ball. I, um, I invited my favourite teddy bear along today. And he said, oh, I'd love to come, Robbie, but I can't. He says, I'm stuffed. <laughs> oh, look at this. It's all happening. Oh, lovely brownie. Uh oh, come on, come back. Lovely brownie on the bibless minnow. Gee, he's fat. They're in such good condition, these trout, especially the browns. Look at the condition on that fish, eh? Ah. Oh, you'll end up with a lure in my face then. How did the photo come out? It didn't. That's the last one. I mustn't have pushed the button. <laughs> I can already see a trout rising upstream of this tree. Not a good place for people who are arachnophobic, which means scared of spiders. <sighs> Not a good place for people who are 43 years old and unfit either. Alright. Got him! Jizzy climbed all over that! <laughs> he jumped to get that, it was on the surface. It was like catching a trout on a surface floor. Jeez, a lovely rainbow. Have a look at that for a nice rainbow. You're the nicest rainbow I've caught for a while. Come on, buddy. I'll try and get a photo, but rainbows are notorious for bloody kicking around like lunatics. Come on, buddy. Oh, dear, here we go. Come on. There's one hook in you, then now you've probably got six. No, there he goes. He's got none now. See you, buddy. Off he goes. Wow, he just flew at that from the back of the hole. The beauty about catching fish at the back of the hole is that you've still got a chance of catching one up the top of the hole. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm going to, it just means you've got a chance of it. Love this. I live for this stuff. What a thrill. There could be anything under here with me. There could be red backs, tiger snakes, you just wouldn't know. Cut them bits by blackberries. What an adrenaline rush. And then there's the fish. Rightio folks, that's it from me. I have had a ball using this wild bait minnow with the broken bib. A bibless wild bait minnow. Now what I've discovered is that the bibless wild bait minnow works every bit as well as a wild bait minnow with a bib on it. It actually has advantages as well as a disadvantage. The disadvantage is that when you cast it out you have to work it. You have to twitch your rod and make the lure swim. When it's got a bib on it, it swims automatically. 
that's the disadvantage of it. The advantage of it is, by twitching it, you're in more control of the action. With the bib on, you just get the swaying left to right, left to right, left to right, all the way in. But without a bib, you can twitch it, you can pause it, you can make it jerk around in the same spot, you can impart quite a lot of life into it, and the trout literally climbed all over it. To put things into perspective, I've just caught four or five, lost probably just as many, seen a few others, and I've only been here probably an hour, maybe a little over an hour. I've just had a ball, the fish have been climbing all over it. And bear in mind, this is the same creek that I was fishing only a couple of days ago with the same lure, where I broke the, the bib off the lure, but I was downstream about a kilometre. So, can you catch trout on minnows with a broken bib? My word, you can. I've had a blast. I'm not going to be throwing this one out anytime soon. But one thing worth noting is the quality of this wild bait minnow. It's very impressive. With the amount of rocks that's landed on, the amount of fish that it's caught, there is not a single tooth mark, bite mark, scuff, scratch, nothing. The lure looks brand new apart from the bib. <laughs> Thanks very much for watching everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please make sure you hit the subscribe button and next to the subscribe button there's a little bell. Make sure you touch that. That way you'll, you'll get a notification every time I upload a new video.